Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 23rd, 24th, and 25th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Libra season is officially here. Now, Libra season started actually the 22nd um, in the evening for Eastern Standard Time. So let me tell you what that would be. That would have been the 22nd, where are you, the 22nd, at 9.04 p.m. Again, that is Eastern Standard Time, so you want to uh, correct for whatever time zone you're in. At the same time, the autumn equinox began at this day. So this is when, so the 23rd is going to be the official start, you know, where, where it's fully Libra, fully the, you know, with the autumn equinox. This is also a time when the veil between our world and the other world, the physical world and the metaphysical world, starts to thin. So we could have some very strange occurrences. We could have some unusual happenings. And this kind of lasts through October. This goes to, like I said before, All Hallows Eve. Now, we do have a new moon on Libra. It is in Libra, and it will be on the 25th, and that will also be at 5.54 Eastern Standard Time. So this weekend has some different vibes. It has a little bit interesting, or in, more interesting vibes. Uh, there's you know a little bit more talk about this weekend, so we will see what we will see. The thing about this weekend is, remember, whatever goes on in the world, we still have to live our lives. We are star seeds, we are light workers, and we need to make sure that we keep our vibrations very, very high so we can help others keep their vibrations high too. Okay, now anyway, you know that when I am working on the weekend, when I'm doing the weekend readings, I am using my Radley Valentine angel cards. I will use my John Holland psychic tarot and oracle cards. I will also use my Angels of Abundance with Doreen and Grant Virtue, and I will pull one from Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, for this part of the readings, and if you've just if you're new here and you've never watched before, this is the introduction, and I will be tagging this onto all of the videos. If you want to see, if you want to go straight to your video, or if you cross watch, then go down here to the um, into the description, and I'll have put a link in there. I'll put a timestamp where you can bypass this. I hope you'll watch at least one time. But so for this video, I will be using in the beginning, this will be more the universal energies, what's going on overall. I will use my weight rider, traditional tarot, and my Colette Baron Reed, the good tarot. I will get her name straight one day. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Like I said, I've talked to you. The weekend has had some interesting energies, that Libra new moon, and a, a new moon is a time of a new start. And it is a time, it is a, even though we are in Mercury retrograde, we still have six planets that are retrograde right now. Um, so they are kind of pushing back. Jupiter and Saturn will start going direct in October. So we're coming to a slowdown with their energies a little bit. So, you know, again, interesting times that we live. What is the old, uh, the old proverb, curse, blessing? May you live in interesting times. So... I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. Try not to get too much in the way of it. So let's see. Higher power. What's going on in the world this, this weekend? What do we need to know for the world? What do we need to know? How do we get, how do we get ready for this weekend? What are the energies like for the world? Or what does the universe want to tell us? Here we go. Glasses help because I can't see without them. Here we are. Okay. Remember, anything that is reversed has a little more um, energy to it. It's a little stronger. Um, also, too, all court cards have dual energy. So a page will have the underlying energy will be earth energy, will be pentacle energy. That's Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy, money, job, career. 
uh, Capricorn and Taurus are very strong. There is, um, Venus is in Virgo right now. I think it's doing something around these uh, dates also. So we do have a lot of that Earth energy. Now, Knight's underlying energy will be the fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Money, I'm sorry, this is very passionate, this is very burning, this is very committed energy. Whether it be right or wrong, it is committed. Um, you know, the only thing really is Jupiter, which is in Aries, and like I said, I think it's around the 8th of October, don't quote me on that, that, Air, that Jupiter will stop going retro. So it is slowing down quite a bit right now. Then we have the queen, which is water energy. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. That's our cups. And then we come to the king. Underlying energy is air or swords. And that is our Aquarius, our Libra, and our Gemini. All of those energies have something going on. It's your thought processes. It's your intellect. It's your thinking things through. It could also be about hearing news. And yes, we have a lot of things and, uh, you know, Saturn is in Aquarius for a little bit longer, and it will be going direct. I think it goes direct towards the end of October, maybe the 28th. For some reason, I get those eights in my mind. Um, and so it is slowing down. We have Mars that's in Gemini right now. It is going direct. But we also have Mercury in Libra, which is retrograde. So let's see what we have here for this weekend, Universal Energy. Okay, well, isn't that one an interesting one? <laughs> we have the tower. We have the tower. It is also reversed. So like I said, it's a strong message, strong energy for us. The tower is a 16. Numbers have meaning. You know, you can use them for dark magic. You can use them for light magic. You can use them for good. You can use them for bad. We use the good. We endow them with the positive energies. So 16. This is a 1 and a 6. 1 is a new beginning. It's a 10 plus 6, which is transition. 6 is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. Add it together, it becomes 1 plus 6 is a 7, and that's a divine number. That is a divine, um, you know, divine guidance, divine umbrella, you know, something that watches over us. It's also a divine intervention. It could be a divine interference. So it's kind of like, I didn't want to go that way, but for some reason I had to. So we have the tower card. The tower is where everything seems to collapse around us. The tower is where we tend to think, what are we going to do? That you know, this is that time that we're just like, I, I you know, hey, I, I thought I was doing everything I was supposed to do because we ju we're just coming from the double energy where we're we, there was fear and we're like moving on and we're like, okay, you know what, we're facing what we have to face, and then we come to the tower and we're like whoa, is this what we had to come, you know, is this what I had to face, where everything seems to fall down? The thing about the tower is it means that, yes, while everything seems to be collapsing, it really is getting ready for a rebuilding. So the tower is not supposed to scare you. It is more to make you aware, and it's more to make you aware of the rebuilding that is to come, okay? So we do have that first card, which is that tower. Okay, let's see what this one says now. Oh, okay, so now we have the eight, again, those that eight, eight of pentacles. Now, eight is unlimited opportunity, unlimited possibilities. Pentacles is um, money, you know, is the earth energy, your money, job, career. Now, the thing about this is it's, it's really saying a lot, of, okay, the seven of pentacles, which this is not, this is the next one over, says you are preparing. The eight of pentacles is saying you are prepared, you're ready. Things are not, you know, things are not going to take you by surprise. You know, again, this has money energy to it. This is creating money. This is moving into money. This is also being acknowledged as someone who does have money. So there is a money energy here. There is opportunity here. There is more to come, more to come with this energy here too. So we have that. Interesting with that. Next card is, okay, now we come to a seven, again reversed. This is seven, remember divine umbrella, divine um, oversight. This is the seven of rods or wands, which is fire energy. Again, Le uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, passionate, burning, determined. And this is really hold, hold the line, hold your Hold your place. Don't give in. in. Don't give up. This is, again, you know, you can see, we don't see the people, 
We don't see whoever is down here. We don't know what is down here, but we see that he is standing on the higher ground and he is basically defending his position. So whatever this is, you know, so here, this is the one that's kind of the, the scarier energy, but it means, but this is really, every, it has to clear. It's kind of like that, um, you know, that energy when, you know, after you've had a really good um, rainstorm and it just, the wind has been howling and howling and then once it's all done, you know, there might be some cleanup after it. This kind of, but yet at the same time, you can look out and you can see that, um, you know, the grass is growing and that there's very, that there's positive uh, cleanliness, cleaning going on with this tower card. But then again, this has a lot of, you know, you've been prepared, you're ready. Um, you know, this is that moving on from the Seven of Pentacles where it's like, get to work. There is more to come for you. There is more opportunity for you. But then we have the Seven again that says, hold your position. Don't give in. Don't give up. So interesting for this weekend. We will see what we will see, especially since we have that that equinox. If I, you know, the equinox going on, the thinning of the veil. And we have that new moon in Libra too. So let's see. Let's see what... Colette Baron reed has to say for this weekend, or what her cards have to say. Higher power. Let's ask higher power. What, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for this weekend? What else do we need to know? And again, whatever this is all about, you know, just don't, have, don't worry. You know, just live your life. Live your life and live it with integrity and live it with light. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. Oh, well, that's an, I love the fool. I love the fool. The fool is a zero energy. That's a God source energy. The fool is a have faith, um, is, is that leap of faith. This is a, you know, it's, it's, it's almost that new beginning. It's that I don't understand what's going on in the world or I don't understand what's happening. I just know that everything's going to be okay. And I just know I have to go where I have to go. I have to go where, you know, God, Source, um, Gaia, whoever that is to you, you know, leads me. So we have an interest, and this is Major Arcana, this is Major Arcana. Again, um, you know, these two are what we can be doing. These two have more of a universal energy to it, as in, you know, the divine energy that's happening. Um, but the fool is always believe in yourself, have faith, believe that there is something greater out there, and we get through whatever it is we need to get through, okay? Interesting energies, interesting stuff. I'm going to then ask you now, we're going to get to the reading, so I just be prepared for that. But if you could go down to over here, over there, and if you could like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications, you really help me out by doing that, and you keep me on air. So I want to thank you, and let's start our readings now. And hello to my Aries. So let's see what's going on this weekend. This weekend's got some interesting vibes. Again, uh, the equinox. We have the, you know, Libra, Libra fully started. Um, we have the new moon in Libra. So there's lots of passionate, lots of stimulating energies going on. Now we go back to the um, introduction. There's a lot of interesting energies going on here at the same time. So I do feel that this is going to, you know, my, my Aries, I do feel like you do need to stay grounded this weekend. Um, what does that mean um, down to earth? It doesn't, you know, don't, don't let your fire energy burn you out. Okay, don't, you know, so if you, you know, and I do feel that way again. Maybe you've been doing a little bit too much. Maybe you're just not getting enough sleep. Again, I got, you know, don't, don't, don't let burn out. Don't let burn out. Don't burn out. Okay, <laughs> be grounded, take care of yourself, do the things you love, and also do the things you love for yourself, too. Anyway, let's see what we have for this weekend for my Aries. Now, remember, Jupiter is slowing down because it will be going direct fairly shortly. You know, not quite yet. So this is also a good time for you to make some money. I don't know where that came from, except that's what came out of my mouth. It is a good time for you to make some money. I don't necessarily know that it's a good time for you to um, buy or sell. And again, I don't do financial advice, but I feel like this is a time for you to actually 
you know, and I'm, you know, is actually to provide something. Maybe it's a service. Maybe it's a, it's an opportunity. Maybe it's a new idea. But it's an, it is a good time. And I know, you know, there's lots of weird stuff going on right now. But I do feel that with your ingenuity, and your intuitiveness, it is a good time for you to at least explore the ideas. Okay, let's see what we have. This one's reversed. Let's see what we have for my Aries. First is the Knight of Earth. Now, Knight's underlying energy is your energy, fire energy. But Earth energy is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And remember, um, Pluto is in Capricorn, so a lot of things have been torn down in Capricorn right now since, what, 2008, and then it's going to, but, you know, but right now it is also getting close it's been it's been retro, but it's getting close to going direct again. I think that's at the end of October, so it's also slowing down. So I feel like with Pluto and Jupiter slowing down here, it's a like it's a it's a good time for you to get your feet. It's a good time for you to get a little more settled in what you want to do. Is it what you want to do when you grow up? It could definitely be that. Now the Knight of Earth, though Earth, money, job, career. Um, really want really says you know take a little time to look at the whole situation take a little time to make your plans you know the fire energy of the night wants to just rush right in but the earth energy says oh don't quite rush right in yet not yet take a little time but once we've got all the i's dotted and the t's crossed once you've got your business plan put together once you've flushed out your new idea then it's time to go to work then it's time to get things done okay the night of earth is very grounded energy and i think that's why i told you you need to be grounded this weekend okay you need to make sure that you have two feet planted firmly on the ground and that you're not just rushing into something that maybe it looks too good to be true and that's because it is you need to really think things through but it could be something with some tweaking it could be exactly what you're looking for, okay? So the Knight of Earth is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Next card, reversed. The Two of Air. Now, two, crossroads, choices. Maybe it's, maybe it's a partnership even. Air energy is our Libra. We're in Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, we know about Saturn in Aquarius. Also, it is Gemini energy. Mars is in Gemini, so that's a fighting spirit. That's your energy, your energy. So these are very intellectual signs. Now, I'm not saying that they're smart per se, though many of them are, but it's very much something that they think over and they think over again and they really think things through again. And that kind of goes along with what I was saying with this. The only thing about the two of air and thinking things through with, you know, maybe it's because of Mars being, I'm, I'm sorry, maybe it's Mercury being retrograde and, and Libra, is that sometimes it's just hard to decide and how, sometimes it's hard to see which direction you're going to go in, okay? So it's just kind of like, you know, you, you, you think you see it, you've, 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 you've planned it, you've gone, okay, this is the way I want to go, and then just as you're about to, you know, to make your step, make your move, speak your speak, speak your piece, all of a sudden you think you hear, you might get new information or you hear something else or you think of something else and you go, wait a minute, mate, take a step back, take a step back. I'm not quite ready. The thing about that is it's okay to do that because I don't want you doing, you know, we're Mercury retrograde, so there's a lot of weird energy. All of the energy is weird right now. So I'm not saying you have to do it. You can always get your plans put together and your business plan put together, and you can always be ready for when the time is right. Now, the two of air is basically about not being able to make a decision. I'm kind of, okay, well, it's being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no, tr no problem. So the two of air will also say, well, just make a decision and things will be better. I'm kind of like, Maybe it's okay. This is okay. I don't feel like you have to make the decision. The thing about the night of earth is just is all in its preparation. Okay? It's all in its preparation for whatever these next steps might be. Okay, next card is the three of air. So three has 
celebration. It has creativity. It's also the power of three. So, you know, say something, do something. We got the new moon. What is the 25th? Get out there. Use that energy. Say, hey, this is what I've been wanting. This is where I need to do. I may not have the answers to everything, but I want to, you know, maybe we need to jump forward a couple of weeks or something like that. So that's what the new moon's all about. New starts. It is all about new starts. So the three of air, though, has this sense of, of, um, the sense of letting go. At the same time, it, it's the sense of not wanting to let go. It's the sense of, you know, it, when it hurts too much to hold on, that's when you're ready to let go. Or when it hurts too much to let go, that's when maybe the opposite of what I'm just saying, okay? When it hurts too much to let go, that's when you want to hold on. And when it hurts too much to hold on, that's when you want to let go. Okay, so the three of air has this little dual energy right now. Normally the three of air comes in and I'm like, time to let go and forget the past. But for you, my Aries, it's just kind of this duality right now. It's like, I don't know if it hurts too much to let go or if it hurts too much to hold on. And that might be where your decision is also resting. So my thing is, if it, you know, if you don't know, then don't do anything. Don't make a decision. And that in itself is your decision. So great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself or others. The thing about this, and you're like, well, Doug, that doesn't sound really great. The thing about it is that night of earth now has a plan and is just waiting for the right time. And that is actually good. Okay. You just have to be in the right space and the right, right frame of mind in the right emotional space in order for that to go forward. Okay. Let's see what we have for my Aries here. Okay, well that one popped and seven. And this is kind of where we're going. (laughs) This is exactly, this talks about it. Seven is a divine number. It's your divine umbrella, interference, intervention, but it's all divine. Patience and planning. So even though you know what you know and you know what the outcome's going to be, and you're making your plans, basically, you don't have to do anything just yet. You don't have to do anything just yet. But when it comes time, whoa, are you going to be ready? Okay, does that make sense? Anyway, let's see what we have with the Angels of Abundance for my Aries now. Let's see. There we go. And we will cut. Okay. This one is reversed. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. Now you saw that I shuffled. If you have any Sagittarius, this popped up for Sagittarius. I love it. Anyway, all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. Let's look at him. I can read this better this way. (laughs) You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. Well, that sounds like you're ready. But you do have to, um, you know, so again, your positive energy, it is, you know, the shift. You've now kind of said, you know, okay, maybe I'm not ready, but... I know that this is going to happen and you ha- you're putting out all this really good stuff. It will, it will then happen for you. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. So let's see what crystal or energy we have for our Aries that would be helpful for them. Let's see. Okay. This one is reversed. Moss agate brings about new beginnings. Nature connection animal allies, and also security. Interesting with that. Let me know. Let me know, my uh, my Aries, what's going on with this. Are you ready? Do you make a decision? You've got your plan. You've got your plan. The Knight of Earth has the plan. Let me know. Okay. Take a moment, please, to comment. Also to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. As always, though, my Aries, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.